Okay. And we're running time. What we're just going to work on um, a little bit is just some sweeps. Okay. Um, uh, I guess sweeps should come with the warning. You know, the FBI warning at the start of the movie. Um, a couple of rules. My sweeps are for black belts. Okay. When they're sparring on black belts. Okay. So, um, just keep that in mind. Okay. Okay. Sweeps of the black belts when sparring, sparring other black belts. Hey, hey. Hey. Sweeps of the black belts when sparring other black belts who don't have knee problems. Knee hey. hey. problems, or back problems. Make sense? Hey. Uh, sweeps of the black belts who are sparring someone who could probably handle it. Hey. Hey. If I was sparring Brittany, who's half my size, I'll just do my old form for sweep. Probably the full, like, uh, feather of the bricks. Kind of things. Uh, <laughs> It's just not on. So, um, again, I'm talking to the bigger guys, because sometimes the bigger guys don't know their own strength. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying It's just the way you are, because okay. we all live, out, live and experience the world through our own eyes. Okay. So it's like, it wasn't hard. Well, to you. Yeah. So, you've got to keep that in mind as well. Okay. So, always be very mindful of that. Two is, you don't necessarily want to put people on the ground. I can practice a sweep without putting somebody on the ground. Okay. Just like we practice all those basics, we're not doing kumse. Okay. Okay. So you can practice sweeps without putting people on the ground and you realize you just give that extra bit bigger, just like we give that extra bit bigger in real life. Okay. Okay. So you just got to keep that in mind. And um, this is not necessarily the next thing I'm about to say a GKR rule, it's just my rule from Jojo, is that when people want to sweep, they come up and they talk to me about sweeping. Okay. So unless I've given since I had a group to sweep in my classes, he doesn't sweep in my classes. Okay. So he might come up and say, Sensei, uh, I, you know, I'd like to start sweeping, I've been working on it. No, I think I want to start sweeping. Let's go. I've been working on it. Okay. And I'll say, do some sweeps. And he kicks me up here, he kicks me up here, and I'm like, nah, no. Go back to work. Okay. And then we do it safely, and I'll be like, okay. Make sure you do it on the right people and go through all the things I just said. Okay. And then I'll see him do a few dangerous ones because suddenly in the heat of battle it's a bit. And I go, nah, you gotta go back to work. Okay. It's sad because it can be a potential <coughs> dangerous thing. Okay. So um, just keep that in mind for sorts. Okay. Best way to practice, I often get the students with uh, training bags. And I get with their training bags near a wall. Sorry. No. Can you do a training bag for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. This is the best way to practice sweeps. <laughs> but that's a training bag. Okay. And I didn't really want you to be a training bag. But I get them kicking their training bags. And against the wall, so they don't kick it halfway across the dojo. Have to go fetch it, bring it back. So they're just practicing, practicing against an object. Hey. Um, when I do seminars with my partner Hayley, most of you may know Hayley, she's about yay big. And um, she's very small. I uh, said so no camera rules. And um, no, no, she's very small, and I always get her to take the sweeps portion of the class. And she picks the biggest person in the room and says, Don't let me sweep you, and she puts them on the ground three or four times. And it shows you that it's technique. See, if I do it, it's like, oh, we're just a guy. You know, but she's the smallest person in the room, often. <laughs> and she gets the biggest guy and just sweep, 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 and they can't stay out. And she's part of the guys in the class, and she just sweep, 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 and they can't stay out. Because it's technique. I say this people think, I'm just going to go whack me, beat a hard arm like an axe on a tree, or fall down. It's not like that, it's a technical thing. And it's something that you have to invest in. Do you know, like, come on, I want to get into the sweeps already. You're not going to get into that. The best thing is you know, they'll teach you how to fish. Right? Okay. It's something you have to invest in. Before the last one cup, I made hay, I was like, your next thing is sweeps. Like, probably eight or so months before the World Cup. Your next thing is sweeps, because you always have to have a technical goal to keep you excited. And so we train in the park every night, and there's netball posts. And we wear joggers in the park, and I would just have her sweep the post, like the, the feet of her shoes. So if she did it a bit wrong, she would get a bruised foot. Because if you like that, your shoe protects you. Follow it? That, your shoe doesn't protect you. And I'm talking weeks and weeks, she'd be like, it's, no, it's just a waste of time. I'm not, I can't sweep, I can't sweep, I can't sweep. And I would just say, honestly, no, honestly, shut up. <laughs> no, I'm just being honest. Honestly, shut up, you 
you doing? And then a month later, she's like, oh, I spoke to one of the girls tonight. You know, two months later, three months later, but after about six months, she starts a brother and puts him on the ground. You know, like that. It's a good thing. It's an investment. Hey, hey. For that six months, we train in the park three or four nights a week for a few hours at a time. We don't just do sweets, but hours and hours and hours of sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. Hey. Hey. So one of the best ways, again, is you can just go at home, put a training bag against the wall. You can't do a shoe because you've got to go just above the shoe. So even like a soft soccer ball, a medicine ball, anything soft that you can hit, hit, hit. Make sense? Yes. And just get used to the idea of the pull, the pull, the pull. The way I want you to practice it. So with your partner, like so, the worst thing you do is look down, you'll get punched in the face. You come in here, you'll get punched in the face. So what I want you to do is start with a head level technique, a head level punch, preferably. Because where, is it, where are his eyes now? His eyes are up, which means he's not necessarily looking at my leg. Okay. So that's a good start. Start with a head level punch. The other thing is the base foot must afterwards pivot. And you'll end up with sore knees. Punch, pivot. Think of step five. And then we do this. Okay. 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 first. We get to step five before we put our foot down. Okay. So we've got our head level punch one. Head level punch one. Step five. Okay. Okay. And double punch, one. Now that's a pull. Okay. It's not even hard, it's just the pull. Okay. This is the easiest sweep. There's lots of different sweeps. This is the easiest one. The one everyone should start. Okay. Okay. And the reason why I'm, I really love sweeps is because in real life, I would probably never do a head kick. But in real life, I would definitely do a sweep. Okay. If you can take someone's legs out, they can't kick. Okay. And in a tournament, a head kick's worth a nip on, and a sweep's worth a nip on. So if you can sweep, you can get good points in tournaments, and you can get very good in real life. If you can head kick, you can get good points in tournaments, and I will never use it in real life. So we're always preparing for real life. So we've got head kick one, uh, head punch one. Get the distance right. We're hitting just above the angle we can hear on our foot. And we're pulling in this direction. So we're pulling them forward and across. Forward and across. Okay. Okay. So pull in this way. One, two. Oh, we can open up the punch. Okay. And this will start slowly. The faster you go, the easier it is. So if you're doing it slowly, you're thinking it's not working, well, because you've got no momentum. Okay. Okay. Quickie go, the quickie go, I'll start to move. Okay. Okay. You've got to start slow, people are going to walk out. Of course, we can. Yeah, really good. Okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. Okay. So one for one, head punch. Foot to here and pivot. Okay? Hey. One for one. Go! Hey. Not sure how much time we've got, but we've run out of time. Hey. Hey. No we've run out of time. A couple of things. One, I sit in my chair. I'm still in my chair. Hey. 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 Too hard to hold the in the chair. But I'm still in my chair and I'm still in my chair. Hey. Hey. If I come up in height, look at my reach. Hey. If I'm in my chair, look at my reach. So hey. I'm going to reach. Hey. Hey. Just like here. Look how far away I am. I sit in my chair. Then you have to step anywhere. I just got an extra foot of reach. So I stay in the chair and I stay in the chair. Just like you said, by. That's not what we did. We stay in our chair, we stay in our chair, we stay in our chair. We stay in our chair, we stay in our chair, and we stay in our chair. Yeah, that's just one type of sweep. Um, and again, that's all the time for now. If you go to YouTube, you type in Juka National Kumite Curriculum, and find me teaching three hours of Kumite. Okay. And a whole bunch of those are sweet. You can I explain how to do them safely, correctly, and whatnot? Okay. Okay. So uh, you can always learn more. But again, the sweets are an investment. And again, it's how I learn to buy myself in a park. Okay. Just in a park, just going down a park, going down a park. Um, long before I started practicing on students. Okay. Then you start practicing on the kids to get your confidence up. <laughs> long before students. The other thing is um, in the dojo, when I get the students to do the dojo, sometimes I have to turn their leg pads in sideways and they can stick their hips in yeah. there. Okay. Just to cover their ankles, just a bit of extra pain. Okay. If I have kick bags, someone holds a kick bag here so they can come in and bang the kick bag. Okay. So there's a lot of safe ways to do it. Hey, don't hey, just think, I want this video on sweets, I'm going to do it. Hey, hey, don't be that person. Hey, hey, hey. Be the person who says, I'm going to go and learn this. Just like you don't go, I'll watch this video on set by, I'm going to go for Blackbird. Hey, I'm going to go to the grave this weekend, I'll watch it on video. Hey. 
practice and practice and practice before you have to form. I, 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 I just practice keeping your hands on this.